It is time once again for the Real People Multi-Game Solitaire Mega Tournament where our people are still reeling from the results of the last epoch. It, um, main thing it did that made them real, there was other things that happened vis-a-vis -vis, like money and stuff like that, but the thing that made them real was the shift to autonomy. The event shifted the um, thing back to military dominance and autonomy. This is going to be kind of Junior's time to shine, I think, if he can make this work. Prosperity plus prestige is well above the limit. So moving it to autonomy gave him dominance, which he needs for victory prior to fragmentation. And also it moved his goal back. So it makes it so it's ostensibly, at least numerically, easier for him to do it. Now, uh, the Britons have lost a lot of control over the areas and one problem with autonomy is when prosperity is gone, it doesn't come back to um, to Roman rule time. So like the top row of prosperity won't regenerate. So that's going to be a problem, especially since the barbarians are thirsty, right? Hair Bear and Pegasus, they don't have really anything on the map. Um, Hair Bear does have these three raiders that got to stay here, but his warbands had to leave. Pegasus has some raiders that are in this um, ether type place. I think of it as like a dream world that they can step out of the fog of dream. I don't know anything about it though, but there it is. It seems like a dream world. Um, all right, so it's gonna be uh, Hair Bear's turn right now. Hair Bear's got some interesting choices. Now, one thing with all the like moving, like the the troops, the Britain troops having to move back to bases and whatnot, um, that left Parisi undefended. So he's really tempted to just move right away, even though, you know, there, there's a good chance of a counterattack with from uh, feeding the ravens here. But I think he might want to jump on it while he can, get into Parisi and maybe sack that town. All right, here we see the results of the raid. Uh, Hair Bear went here into Rotrigi, guess. Um, safe spot. There's no chance of an interception there. Although the next event could allow um, Junior to march in there and assault, I believe. I, I didn't quite read it too closely. Um, went here. He would really like to get rid of this uh, fort there. The fort protects both of these oceans. Oceanus. Um, Oceani? I don't know. Um, so if he could get rid of it, that would be great. Unfortunately, he got a really bad raider roll, and he only has three raiders in there, and there's a couple cavalry staring at them, and so maybe he can evade. He did get rid of the town in Parisi. Thought about going after the hill fort as well, uh, but he would have just lost out doing that. He wouldn't have gotten any gain um, other than it would have decreased the control of the Britons, and Britons are above their control. Uh, the Siwatates are above their victory margin for that. They just need to get civilian control. So really right now how it's looking is whoever has control, Junior or Dancing Bear, if, if the Epoch were to come up right now, which it won't, that person would win. Right now it, it is Junior. Um, oh, and then uh, Dancing Bear had a turn. She took the Omens card, so this card gives her some special options that she could do later. Not, not a bad thing to have in your pocket. Uh, let's see what's next after feeding the ravens. It'll be Junior's turn on that, and then we'll have Isle of Avalon, which will be um, which will be Hair Bear again. All righty, Pegasus is whipping out her pivotal event. So here we can see the start of what this event. Okay, so what's going to happen is she got to raid in a bunch of places. She actually ran out of pieces, so she decided to concentrate them here, here, and here. Uh, got some nice plunder there. Destroyed the. Um, the Saxon stronghold there that was Federace. Um, so now she's going to be doing, she's going to be assaulting one of these towns. It doesn't really matter which one since they have the uh, dancing bear. She split up her forces between them evenly. Uh, so first she gets to try a coup de mont. She needs a four or lower. And she got a four. So that means that they get to just rush in there and take it down. And she might take down the other one as well. So I forgot to take the plunder off. I got to do some updating stuff and I'll get back to you. Okay, she's trying another coup de main on the other town. And she got it. So that's gonna mean that this gets destroyed as well. She's getting a hearty hit on both the Dukes and on Dancing Bears, Siwitates. 
Um, that's going to drop down their prestige even further. And she gets even more prosperity. Plus, what's nice about this is the Siwitates no longer have control. I'm just going to let that float around. That's all theirs. Um, so Junior's not going to be able to intercept on his turn. Now, did she, did I take off the three? She's supposed to lose three guys there. From the defense. And now she has some pieces freed up, so she can go ahead and uh, raid over here if she wants. And I think she does. So she's rolling 3d4 because of the special nature of this event. And that's not very good. All right, that's uh, five there. That's almost all of her pieces. Unfortunately, she drained everything from the album uh, in order to do a big strike here. All right, so she's going to get a couple prosperity there. And I don't think she's going to try to attack right now. I think she feels like she got a lot of bang for that buck. Not only that, but Hair Bear is also going to get to do a series of raids. He gets to do four plus feet. So it's actually a good event for him, too. Um, Pegasus was feeling, hey, Junior is doing too well. We got to take him down, and she needed to get a, uh, establish a map presence right now. So this this event really um, can turn the tide of things. I think um, it's the first time I've done it, so I don't know, but it seems like it's going to have a big effect on the game. So let's look at the result of all those events. Um, Junior hasn't had a chance to retaliate yet, but. There are barbarians everywhere. It's going to be very difficult for him to decide where to strike. Now, on the next, he could he could act right now. It's an operation plus feet. Um, but they have removed control from a lot of the key areas, so it would be difficult to do a lot of intercepts. He could get some in, though. Problem is, is some of the areas he would like to go in are in these fens here, and there's this negative a negative effect on him for fighting in the fens and he'd like not to lose his cavalry if possible they're much weaker if they're in the fens so does he just give up on those and leave that to the siwitatis to defend that's tough to do because he's got strongholds there um he's kind of the main protector in a couple of these areas I don't know, it's going to be tough for him to decide. Um, from Hair Bear's perspective, what did he do? He got some more people in here to protect the people there and hope to get enough forces because he would really like to get rid of this one fort right there. As we mentioned earlier, maybe it was last video, um, this protects both these oceans uh, from, from raids, so that's bad. Then he also did a deep raid into here, took the remaining prosperity. This place was had six prosperity before this event, and now it has nothing. Nobody's home. It's fully empty. Um, Parisi is no longer in Britain control. Bunch of prosperity sitting there ready to return home to the Saxon homeland and really pump up that black marker up the track. So I got to do some considering with Junior as to what he's going to do now. Um, whether it's good to pass because he would act first on the next card. And keep in mind they know that this is coming up too. Um, I don't know. Via an invite uh, feat, as well as some interception, Junior was able to take back most of this. There's some new um, Saxon Federati there. Two of them died in the battle. Um, also tried to intercept here, here, and here, but they all evaded. So not much going on that action. But he's hoping that maybe, you know, now that he has some forces in these areas, uh, uh, Dancing Bear can follow up with... Um, with a battle action of her own because she could use the event here to free battle right now, which wouldn't be bad because she can battle for free in all these places. Plus she gets this nice little ability here to um, that helps her when attacking strongholds. So she'll probably do that. Why wouldn't you, right? Got to work together here. This looks bad for your, your general side. You don't want to... You don't want to squabble. You want to work together here. Make this happen. Let's go, guys. All right, Dancing Bear and Junior's uh, battle in the north was fairly successful. They lost some people, but the raiders are now gone from that location for now. Um, big return action for Hair Bear. Got a settlement going in Parisi. Um, I think he gained like 12 renown. 
Uh, 15 renown altogether, but then he spent three to make the settlement. So now it's going to be Dancing Bear's turn. She can do a limited action. The, the event on this card is not relevant right now because um, Junior's been pretty good at keeping any casualties from, from happening. Um, she could also pass and act on the next card, so we'll see what she decides. She's going to pass because she thinks that um, Junior might be very interested in this event, and then she might be able to do a full action on her own. She'd really like to get these guys out of there and maybe do a settlement um, settlement uh, feat as well. Now this one's kind of dangerous for, for Hair Bear with what he just did. Um, it, he could mark one settlement and its nation's warbands in one region as any federati. So he could just make these federati. Now that would cause Junior to lose prestige at the same time, which would put him below the victory margin. He just kind of snuck back up. So he might not want to do that. Um, but he also doesn't want anyone to do this event. So we'll see what he decides to do now. Junior's motto is to live and let live. So he did the command only. So no one could do the event. He didn't really want to, he doesn't really care that much about this one population area. It would be nice if there wasn't a Saxon settlement there, but that's not his big concern. He's more interested in buffering up what he has and maybe trying to get back this space. This space is important to him, but he doesn't really want to just march in there with all those raiders right now. So he did a train, added some prosperity to the map, got him back in the victory level, which is good for him. Um, put out some some uh, comitates, no, not comitates, uh, some militia. Comitates are the dark blue, and they're not in play yet. They're right there. Um, and that left Pegasus to just do, she did, she raided in this special space where in future raids she can just add these places. So it's nice to just kind of shore that up. Thought about putting them here so that when she returned them she would have a better chance of getting more warbands out, but she realized that she doesn't have a lot of warbands and she doesn't want to run out. So um, yeah, we'll go on to the next card. And it's going to be first up for Dancing Bear. All right, Dancing Bear, she... Um, Spent the turn mainly getting her wealth up. Uh, the difference, so this could actually allow her to win the game. So we've been talking about how Junior is above his victory marker. She's also above her victory marker. If the if the propaganda, it's not the propaganda round, what's it called, the epoch round comes up soon, what's going to happen is that this control is going to flip over before victory is checked. So she would be the one to win and not Junior if, like, the next card is, is propaganda. I guess we can see that right now since Hair Bear passed after her. So Brittany and then... No Epoch card. I don't. I don't know how close we are. I actually um, started this video a couple weeks ago, and then I got distracted by a bunch of things, and so I'm now finally getting back to it. So I don't have a lot of memory as to what's been going on, other than what we can see here, and what you can see here, and what I can see here, and what we can see here. All right, let's go on to Brittany. Junior maybe shouldn't have been so laissez-faire with Hair Bear. He just ravaged um, three different locations. Got. Big roles here. The, the Ravage is a nice choice for him right now. Um, the things that are in this city, by the way, I had to put in the ocean because I couldn't really fit the raiders in there. So the, the Ocean Hibernicus is like a storage box for this, um, what is it? Iboricum. Um, yeah, so th this is a nice move for him because it decreases both uh, Junior and Dancing Bear's victory conditions. Uh, he removed population, which is what um, Dancing Bear wants to control, and he also removed a lot of prosperity. Uh, and they just didn't have the forces to really defend it. So that, that's what comes with inexperience, I think. Um, I think maybe Junior would have caught that. He's a systems analyst. He thinks about those things, but he really kind of just wanted to be chill with the, the Saxons coming aboard, you know, but it didn't work out. All right, let's see how they follow up. It's going to be Pegasus's turn again. Fortunately, she still has this wad of raiders sitting here ready to be cleared out. Um, but she wants to wait until she has the option to settle as well because that's important to her. She'd like to settle here too. She needs to have, uh, she needs to have first go. All right, Dancing Bear is following her dream. She also is helping out these refugees. There are no more refugees just floating about. She gave them all home. She's settling people in this kind of like central core here of uh, grasslands. That's a that's a little safer for them, she figures, because it doesn't have the home terrain of either the um, 
the Scoti or the Saxons, which are the Fens over here. Uh, she also got more wealth and uh, money. She did a trade. Um, then Junior's going to pass, so we're going to move on to the next card. It was kind of a dangerous move for her because it's going to be Hair Bear's turn again. He's getting uh, a presence here. She could have done something where she teamed up with Junior in order to march in here and take this settlement out, but she's aiming for the near-term victory rather than uh, pushing out the Saxons entirely right now. Um, and also she was concerned about those refugees, as you would be too. All right, here's our next card. Ooh, finally, Pegasus is going to be able to act. Um, and that's exciting for Pegasus, but not yet. We'll have to go through Gawaiis. Junior's got some tough calls to make. He's got uh, the option to be second on this card or this card, um, but he's looking at the board and he's seeing that he's in some trouble. So the Saxons, Hair Bear, have another settlement on the map and a bunch of war bands. Um, Hair Bear is now in his victory condition if he gets how much more renown he needs. He needs a good bit more renown, but he's within spitting distance. He needs to get to 30, and he's at uh, 17 right now. Um, Dancing Bear is in her victory mode, so he kind of he kind of wants to maybe even let the Saxons go and maybe take some more control. Uh, but it's worrisome for him, uh, especially since Hair Bear maybe isn't going to be going for control. He might just keep his warbands there and keep raiding out. Um, not a lot of prosperity close by, though. And he's not quite sure how he can stymie Dancing Bear, so he's got to think about what he does on this next move. He could put a, a Federati down here, but the problem is, is that actually helps Dancing Bear... Um, but he would like to, you know, get control of this this major roadway here. He's the roads by road. He's cut off from this whole area because this is out of control in in terms of intercepting from from the north, or, and this is out of control. So that's where he's sitting. Got to do some thinking. We'll get back with you. Not seeing any like great options. Um, he opted to put some, the Federati down using this event here, Hired Muscle. Um, yeah, it's tough. He really needs to get his prestige up, but he doesn't have a good option to do that in, because any, any battles he would be partaking in, he would lose, um, and he can't really battle on this turn anyway. He doesn't know if there's time to set up, so what he's hoping, he's kind of shooting in the dark here, is that um, Pegasus will put a settlement down here and contest control, I guess, and then also allow him something that he can fight. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. He's just kind of shooting in the dark. Maybe it'll work out. Uh, it's not looking good for Junior right now. Let's go ahead and go on to the next card where we are excited because Pegasus is going to get um, to do her special act or her feat full activity. Problem is, is you know, she's got some a decent event here, but I think she can do better doing a return action plus settle than doing the event. And the counter event, you know, if she gets a good foothold, isn't going to hurt her too much. So I don't think she's terribly worried about that. And here's the result. Uh, Pegasus has a tiny toehold. Um, her role to get uh, more war band, get war bands on a return plus settle is uh, worse than the Saxons, so it's harder for her to get them out there. She also doesn't have that many war bands, um, which is tough because she's got to get a lot of settlements on the map. Or she's got to get four. Uh, she's almost there now, but she needs a lot of renown, so I think she's going to be, I, I think the, the Scoti are, are more focused towards just getting a lot of plunder, right? Less so on, um, on battling head-to-head, -head, which is pretty obvious if you look at their feats and whatnot. Um, so... Let's see, Dancing Bear is going to pass, so let's give her her money, and then we'll see what our next card is here. All right, no Epoch yet. Let's get intense. Okay, Serdic saw a deep raid right here, destroyed the town. Uh, got some plunder for Hair Bear, and I don't, I don't know if it's too little too late for him right now, but he's got to get his renown up if he's going to get the, get close to victory. Um, both the Briton... Factions pass, so now we get to draw a new card, and it is going to be that. Um, and I win.
I'm just going to try to pronounce things. I, I know I didn't pr practice the pronunciations. I'm sorry. All right, let's see the results of this NRN card. Um, so first we have an intercept into there from Junior. He also invited some uh, uh, Scotty uh, uh, Federati to join. And then um, Pegasus, she did a, a raid as her, her limited thing. So she pulled in a bunch of stuff from over here. So she's got quite a few raiders there. And let's see what happens on our next card. Camelot. Okay, uh, Dancing Bear took the event that gave her some comitates. They are like her better troops. She starts out with none of them. Now she has three. She has to get them to the map, though. I don't know if she wants to do that right away, but she decided to do that in case she doesn't win on this next epoch. Uh, she'll have some fighting forces for if things become fragmented or or what have you. She's a little more prepared. Um, Hair Bear, he took a boat, sent some, uh, some war bands on a boat over here, and placed a settlement. So he's got kind of like a control, control. He's kind of divided between the two victory strategies. I kind of think maybe you want to do one or the other, but it gives him some, some backup. The only problem is it costs him some renown, which is one of his strategies or one of his victory conditions in order to place the settlements and do all that stuff. Let's go ahead and see what our next card is. Recruits and Alans coming up on deck. Alrighty, recruits card. Um, Scotty retreated or returned. Got uh, Pegasus got several warbands down. Uh, all her warbands are on the map except for one right now. So she's kind of got this nice stronghold though that she can radiate raids out of. A couple good targets. Um, she might need to get even closer though to get like something like that, which is pretty nice. Um, Hair Bear also has the kind of a similar situation. They're both kind of getting radiating toe holds in order to get more prosperity. You can really see why um, Junior might be really hoping for it to go into fragmentation soon. But let's go ahead and try the next card, see what it is. Oh, Epoch. And that's probably going to be the game. So I'm going to tabulate things and then come back to you. If you see me at the board, that means the game's over and Hair Bear won or Dancing Bear won. I think that's probably the case, but we'll see. Let's get one last look at the board in case that is the case, because... Okay, and that's gonna do it. That was a fun game. I, I kind of wish I could do like a series of best of three or something, but we kind of have to move on with the tournament. I would, I would enjoy exploring this game more, and I think I will in the future, definitely. Um, there's a lot to it, and having played at one time, I think I have a lot more understanding of what what each side should be doing. So that's why it would be helpful for the real people and a little more fair if they got to play through once first before, you know, and then another time and then another time so that they could really like perfect or, you know, actually play with some sort of ability. Um, unfortunately with I won't go into that. But the real people multi-game solitary mega tournament is not fair and so we have our results and Dancing Bear won. She's doing well. She's got a nice score of positive 91. One of the few people with a positive score. Um, Junior got second place. If he had lost one more point, he'd be out of the tournament. So he's just clinging on at negative 680. Then we have Hair Bear, negative 7 points. Took him down to negative 650. He's also in rough shape, but he's holding on as well. Um, unfortunately, Pegasus, she had a very low score. I uh, should have probably looked at how the scoring is done in case of a tie. That's how I figured it out for doing this. And she's, we're going to have to say goodbye to her. We have a lot of fond memories of Pegasus. I know you do. I do. We're going to miss her. Um, I'm sorry the tournament's not fair and that she is kind of the, the biggest loser from that. I think she maybe would have made some different choices if she had understood better. So. We'll see you next time at the Real People Multi-Game Solitaire Mag Tournament. We're going to play another game. I'm not sure what. Maybe we're going to finish that innovation tournament, micro tournament, and um, have some plans for that, which I think are exciting. So we'll see next time.